Hi everyone, my name is Tanbir and I'm a Solutions Engineer on the Neuroflash team. Today I'm going to be a customer at a health shop, browsing for a few supplements, and we should be able to see the potential of an Einstein bot in retail. So here I am on the website. I'm already logged in from a previous session, and I'm browsing for a protein powder. As I'm scrolling through the protein section, you should notice the button is configured to proactively fade in. Not only this, but the button is fully customizable. You can configure it to match your brand's colors and aesthetics. I'm going to go ahead and click on the button. It says, hi Tambir, I'm Cheese, a digital assistant. I will be assisting you today. I see you're looking at protein mixes. Do you have any questions for me? Immediately, we see that the bot is able to leverage the authentication to know who I am. Not only this, but as we'll see later, it knows a lot about my previous history with the company as well. I'm going to leverage the bot's natural language processing technology, or NLP, to directly type in my question. The Neuroflash data team has analyzed popular inquiries and trained the bot to recognize and respond to them accordingly. So my question is, what's the difference between whey protein and soy protein? So the bot was able to successfully understand my question and gave some information on the difference between the two. Not only this, but then it says, did I answer your question? When the bot asks if the answer was helpful, it's asking for feedback for reporting purposes, which we'll see later. I'm going to go ahead and click yes. Now it's asking me if I have any other questions, and I'm going to once again leverage the NLP. I'm convinced that whey protein is the one that I need to buy, and I'm going to ask what's the best whey protein I could buy. So it was once again able to successfully recognize my inquiry and gave me a list of protein powders to choose from. This area is really a Neuroflash specialty. With Team's years of experience, it was able to identify gaps in the Salesforce ecosystem and fill them with its own products and services. This is a great example of that. This message is an example of the Neuroflash UI enhancer in action. It's a package that allows chatbot users to add rich media to their bots. Without the enhancer in this scenario, the products would only show in simple text. It would make it difficult to differentiate and recognize products, and I'd have to search for an image of each one manually. This would, of course, waste time and drive me away as a customer. So as I scroll through these, I'm going to go ahead and select this one. It's important to note that the bot can actually add the products directly to my cart and check me out, reducing friction for me as a customer. It's also interesting to note here that the bot is able to leverage my previous history with the company. Not only does it see what I'm currently interested in and what page I'm on, but it can also see my older orders and proactively suggest products that I would have otherwise not been aware about or even interested in. So here, it knows that I've bought calcium supplements in the past and so now it's recommending me vitamin D. I'm gonna go ahead and click on yes because I'm interested. Here's another example of the UI enhancer in action. It's allowing me to get a better view of each individual item, and I can click on them to get more detail. Without the descriptions, I would have been sent in, the descriptions would have been sent in individual messages, which would have been hard to read and too long to be practical. As I scroll down, it says, would you like to transfer, like me to transfer you to a sales representative that can talk to you about these in more detail? That's because a representative would be more likely to complete the sale, and so the logic is built into the bot that it's time to escalate. The sales rep would then pick up where the bot left off. I'm going to go ahead and click on yes. Now let's move into the sales rep side. We start off on the rep side at the home screen where I can choose to customize this and configure it with metrics that I deem to be important for reps. On the bottom left here, we see the omnichannel menu. You can use it to switch between channels, such as voice, text, or messaging. 
It also allows for routing rules. So if a customer asked a very specific question about a product that would require special expertise, it can route based on a rep's skills. I'm going to go ahead here and click on accept to accept the chat request that was forwarded to me from the bot. This takes us to the chat with the customer. On the left here, we have it configured so we can see some of the key details about the lead's contact information. On the right side, we have their recent activity, such as what's in their cart, as well as previous purchases. On the bottom, we have Einstein's next best action. It analyzes the conversation in real time and dynamically suggests actions to take. Here it's suggesting a 10% discount to try the product. In the center here, we have the actual chat itself. First, we can see that the transition was seamless for, for me as a rep. I can see the older messages between the customer and the bot, and I can go ahead and send in my own messages here. Not only is it seamless for me, but also for the customer. I can use additional tools here, such as transferring to another agent that is better equipped to handle the question or utilizing quick replies, which are pre-made message templates to handle chats faster. Using all these tools, I should be able to respond to the lead and close that sale. How do we actually track our ROI on the bot though? What's the point of having devoted all of this time and resources if we can't track its effectiveness? The Einstein bot comes with a few insights already built in, like the deflected cases, total number of cases, the top concerns people are coming to the bot for, and the total interaction time. Of course, you would definitely want more when tracking performance over time. Neuroflash has actually created what's known as the NF Insights Package. It's a custom logging schema that tracks everything going in and out of the bot. You can use that information to build custom dashboards meant to track your KPIs. So things like customer satisfaction, how many products were recommended, number of recommended products added to the cart, cart conversion percentage, number of customers assisted, the total number of cross-sell or upsell. You're able to track this for both the bots as well as the agents. Not only this, but you can see a breakdown of what types of questions customers are coming to your bot with and use that as an opportunity to improve your bot's NLP recognition and ability to cross or upsell and really maximize your sales team and bot's potential.